In May 2015, a Conservative government was elected with a clear manifesto commitment to negotiate a new settlement for Britain in the EU, to ask the British people whether they wanted to stay in on this basis or leave, and to honour the result of the referendum, whatever the outcome. The Government has delivered on these commitments. This House passed a bill to deliver a referendum without placing conditions on the result. On the 23rd of June 2016, the British people delivered their verdict. My Lords, this bill is not about revisiting that debate. This bill responds to the judgment of the Supreme Court that an Act of Parliament is required to authorise ministers to give notice of the decision of the UK to withdraw from the European Union. It asks Parliament to confer upon the Prime Minister the power to notify and commence formal negotiations for withdrawal from the EU. My Lords, many views have been expressed over what might be expected from your Lordship's House as we scrutinise this Bill. Some have asserted that this House will ignore the referendum result and seek to use this Bill to frustrate the process of leaving the EU. As someone who understands our collective sense of responsibility to our important constitutional role, I don't share those concerns. I am confident that noble lords will take a constructive approach in our deliberations. I am under no illusions about the challenge and rigour that will be evident in our debate.